Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. So after almost 2 weeks na paggamit ko ng Xiaomi Redmi Note 9S, I can finally give you guys my full experience and review about this phone. At kung sulit nga ba talaga ang ating Redmi Note 9S. And if you guys are asking kung available na ba ang phone na ito, yes, available na siya via Shopee and Lazada. I'll be putting the link or the direct link on the description box and also sa comment section below para makabili rin kayo ng Redmi Note 9S. So, without any further talking, let's start and begin the full review for the Redmi Note 9S. And I mentioned ko rin guys on my quick unboxing and first impression hands-on review for the Redmi Note 9S that I want my video to be more interactive. That's why I've actually asked you guys to put some of some of your questions regarding the Redmi Note 9S. And I've actually handpicked a couple of questions na sasagutin natin ngayong full review. So first on our list, ang question is po, describe naman yung likod ng ating phone if it's a flat back or curved back. So before I answer your question, Spawn, I'll be touring you guys kung ano pa meron sa labas ng ating Redmi Note 9S. So on the right part of the phone, we have the side-mounted fingerprint scanner, which is also the power button ng ating Redmi Note 9S. The volume rocker. So sa left part naman, guys, we have the SIM tray. And what's good thing about this, this SIM tray ng Redmi Note 9S, we have a dedicated slot for micro SD and a dual nano SIM. And on the upper part of the phone, we have the secondary microphone, IR blaster. And sa lower part naman ng ating phone, guys, we have the speaker grill, microphone, USB Type-C port, and good job because na maintain pa rin ng Xiaomi yung 3.5mm headphone jack. And to answer Spawn's question, guys, yes, we have a curved back design para sa ating Redmi Note 9S. I'm not sure kung nakikita niyo, Bia, but yes, we have a curved back design para sa ating phone. And what's a good thing about the design of this phone is yung front and back niya, guys, is gawa na sa glass. And protected na rin siya ng Corning Gorilla Glass 5, which is a good thing considering sa price ng phone na ito, guys. We have a dot display design for the Redmi Note 9S with 6.67 inch. IPS LCD display with 1080p resolution, 395 ppi density, and 20 by 9 aspect ratio. That's why, as you can see, very immersive talaga and very cinematic yung panonood natin ng videos, movies, and paglalaro ng games sa ating Redmi Note 9S. And so far... Okay naman yung display niya guys, not the best, but considering again sa price ng phone nito, I'm actually happy when it comes to the display para sa ating Redmi Note 9S. And to answer Erica Permato's comment na may issue daw ang Redmi Note 9S sa screen, yung screen bleeding, maganda sana. At yung tanong ni Team Yango, totoo po ba na may screen bleed yung sa screen display? Right now guys, for almost 2 weeks na gamit ko siya, wala naman akong napansin na any screen bleed sa ating display. I'm not sure kung nakikita nyo guys, but nagre-reflect lang yun sa ating display guys. But let's just check the other colors. So this is the color red. I'm not sure kung may nakikita kayo guys. So far, wala naman ako napapansin na any screen bleed sa ating display. So, green naman. So, wala rin guys. Wala akong napapansin. Color blue, wala rin. So, to for almost 2 weeks talaga guys, wala akong napansin na any screen bleed sa ating Redmi Note 9S. 
I'm not sure maybe defective lang siguro yung mga phones na review or nakita kong review sa YouTube or what but so far guys kung meron man siya hindi naman talaga siya noticeable at hindi naman talaga ako na bother um, so far when it comes to the display I'm actually happy and satisfied when it comes to the display ng ating Redmi Note 9S and again guys I'm discussing or I'm telling this because sa price pa rin naman talaga ng phone na ito na less than 12,000 pesos. Sobrang okay naman talaga yung display quality para sa ating phone. At kung meron mang screen bleeding, hindi ko siya napapansin at hindi mo rin siya mapapansin kung hindi niya talaga titignan ng mabuti. And right now, kahit tingnan natin ngayon guys, wala ako napapansin na any screen bleeding sa ating Redmi Note 9S. But leave a comment down below guys if may napansin kayo. But so far on my end, after almost 2 weeks na paggamit ko ng phone ito, wala talaga akong napansin na any screen bleeding. And as you can see guys, we have a dot display camera designed for the Redmi Note 9S with 16 megapixel with f2.5 aperture camera. And for the rear naman guys, as you can see, we have a quadruple camera setup for the Redmi Note 9S with 48 megapixel with f1.8 aperture wide camera, 8 megapixel with f2.2 aperture ultra wide camera, a 5 megapixel with f2.4 aperture macro lens, and a 2 megapixel with f2.4 aperture for depth sensor. For video recording guys, yung front natin can actually shoot up to 1080p resolution at 30 frames per second, while yung rear naman natin can actually shoot up to 4K resolution at 30 frames per second. So, so far guys, when it comes to the camera performance, I'm actually happy so far detailed naman and very sharp naman yung mga photos na nakuha na natin using the Redmi Note 9S. And okay naman yung dynamic range niya, not the best, but so far fairly good naman yung dynamic range for the Redmi Note 9S and also what I like about the camera feature guys is the kaleidoscope. So as you can see, we have a kaleidoscope na feature para sa ating Redmi Note 9S. Which is a cool thing for a camera guys. And if you're looking for an effect sa isang camera, this one is actually good. Sobrang nice and very cool ng kaleidoscope na features para sa ating Redmi Note 9S, guys. And aside sa kaleidoscope, guys, we also have a slow motion feature para sa ating Redmi Note 9S. Short video na may kaleidoscope, um, video, photos, 48 megapixel, portrait mode, night mode, Panorama, and the Pro Mode. And what's a good thing about the video camera, guys, we also have an image stabilization for this Redmi Note 9S. So as you can see, guys, we have an image stabilization for the Redmi Note 9S when it comes to video shooting, guys. At kaya niya actually hanggang 1080p resolution at 30 frames per second. And I'll be showing you as well, guys, some sample videos na nakunan ko using the Redmi Note 9S to show you guys yung image stabilization para sa ating phone and also the kaleidoscope um, video or short video clip sa ating Redmi Note 9S.
At para sa tanong naman ni Elmer Joseph Yap kung ano ang camera sensor para sa ating Redmi Note 9S. So yung camera sensor for this phone, it's a Samsung Isocell Bright GM2 sensor guys. At pag-usapan naman natin guys ang operating system and hardware performance para sa ating Redmi Note 9S. So this phone runs in MIUI 11 based on Android 10 and powered na rin siya ng newest Qualcomm Snapdragon 720G with GPU of Adreno 618 and yung variant na merong available sa Philippines right now is the 4GB of RAM and 64GB of internal storage and 6GB of RAM and 128GB of internal storage at kung nakukulangan pa kayo sa internal memory para sa ating phone don't worry guys because expandable naman yung memory niya up to 256GB via micro SD. So right now guys, I have Mobile Legends in front of me. Let's check kung available ba ang high frame rate mode and also yung ultra settings para sa ating Mobile Legends. So when it comes to sound guys, tiisip naman siya, hindi siya ganun kaganda but okay na siya for the price of the phone. And as you can see, available na yung high frame rate sa para sa ating Mobile Legends and also the ultra mode. Playing with the Mobile Legends guys, so overall pinakita ko sa inyo yung settings na meron tayo for the Mobile Legends, PUBG, and also Asphalt 9. 
And overall, I must say, satisfied naman ako sa kanya. Very good naman siya for multitasking and gamings. And kung nagtatanong kayo guys kung umiinit ba yung phone, yes, umiinit siya and don't expect na hindi iinit. Especially kung naglalaro kayo at kung nakamax yung graphics sa isang games nyo, don't expect na hindi siya iinit guys. But in terms of yung level ng init niya, tolerable naman talaga siya guys. I mean... In a while, nagsasubside rin siya. Mabilis rin siya magsubside yung init. So, okay na okay siya for me. At may nagtanong sa inyo or tanong ni Chabilita ko na update na po ba sa MIUI 12 ang Redmi Note 9S? Right now, guys, hindi pa updated ang Redmi Note 9S to MIUI 12. But I'm also hoping na ma-update na ASAP since I really don't like the system ads sa MIUI 11. And I've read Some articles na once na maroon out na yung MIUI 12, we will have an option to deactivate the system ads. Which is a good thing sa isang smartphone because medyo annoying talaga na medyo may nagpa-pop up pa na system ads or ads sa isang sa smartphone nyo. So good job kung i-roll out nila soon yung MIUI 12. And someone also asked ano po bang difference between the 128GB and 64GB ROM lang po ba? Yes, when it comes to performance, wala naman talagang pinagkaiba. The only difference is yung variant niya. But I, I must say, kung gusto niya ng future proof na smartphone, then go with the higher variant. Para at least mas marami kayong ma-download na apps, ma-save na photos, and also mas tatagal yung phone nyo since mas malaki yung ROM and yung RAM ng smartphone na bibili nyo. Tanong naman ni Bronson Enriquez, are you able to use Ultra Mode sa Mobile Legends? Yes, as you can see a while ago, available naman yung Ultra Mode settings natin for the Mobile Legends and also the High Frame Rate Mode. Tanong ni Marvin Villacorte, Hi, hello sir, ilang watts po yung stock charger niya? Right now guys, we have a 22.5 wall charger out of the box. But the phone or yung Redmi Note 9S natin can only charge up to 18 watts. Fast charging na siya. So, so far, okay naman yung charging niya. And I mean, nag-last naman yung smartphone sa akin for one and a half days on a normal usage. And when it comes to playing, I must say for 30 minutes na naglalaro ako ng games, nabawasan lang siya ng 5%. So, overall, happy naman ako when it comes to the battery performance para sa ating Redmi Note 9S. And by the way, guys, this phone has a 5,025 mAh battery capacity. And again, capable na rin siya ng fast charging up to 18 watts. And before I end this full review for the Redmi Note 9S, sasagutin ko pa yung mga iba na yung tanong about this phone. So, tanong ni Simon Pogi, ano po ba mas better, 9S or 9 Pro? Right now, guys, when it comes to the performance, na lang naman yung chipset niya, which is the 720G. When I tried uh, watching the launch for the 9 Pro, the only difference is yung camera niya since the 9 Pro will have or will get a 64 megapixel while yung 9S, Meron tayong 48 megapixel para sa ating 9S. Tanong naman ng isang subscriber na hindi ko maintindihan since naka-Japanese character. Kailan po mag-a-avail nito sa Pinas? So right now guys, available na ang ating Redmi Note 9S last April 8 via Lazada or Shopee. So I'll be putting the link on the description box. And also sa comment section, yung direct link mismo, if you guys are interested to buy this phone. Uh, and also, tanong din ni Ryan Carlo Hidalgo, ano pong pinagkaiba ng Redmi 9S or Redmi Note 9 Pro? Again guys, wala naman pinagkaiba again when it comes to the performance since ang difference lang talaga niya is the camera. Tanong naman ni Balong Cruz, may kasama po ba siyang screen protector? Yes! May pre-installed screen protector siya sa ating Redmi Note 9S as you can see. Ayan po ang ating pre-installed na screen protector. And last, and last but not the least, tanong ni Mark Angelo Marquez, sino po ba mas maganda Redmi Note 9S? Huawei Nova 7i or Realme 6 Pro? Nalilito po kasi ako. Salamat po sa sagot nyo. Right now guys, kung available lahat ng phone, I will go with the Realme 6 Pro because of the 90Hz refresh rate. And also, hindi naman talaga magpapatalo when it comes to the 
um, camera performance and also hardware performance ang Realme 6 Pro. But since ang available right now sa Pilipinas is the Huawei Nova 7i and the Redmi Note 9S, I will go with the Redmi Note 9S simply because of the price. Again, yung Huawei Nova 7i natin will actually retails for 13,990 pesos. And while yung Redmi Note 9S natin actually retails for 11,990 pesos for the max variant. So if you have um, issue or concern when it comes to your budget, then go with the Redmi Note 9S. But kung hindi naman talaga issue sa inyo ang kawalan ng Google mobile services sa isang smartphone at gusto nyo ng magandang performance when it comes to photography, then go with the Huawei Nova 7. So what do you think of the Redmi Note 9S guys? So please leave a comment down below and sabihin niyo sa akin yung thoughts niyo about this phone at kung sulit nga ba talaga ang phone nito. And also guys, sabihin niyo rin sa akin kung okay ba yung ganitong setup na full review for this phone meaning meaning to say gusto niyo ba yung mga ganitong classing video na nagtatanong kayo and then I'll answer it on my full review or videos. So please leave a comment down below kung nagustuhan nyo yung ganitong setup. And also don't forget to like this video guys, share it to your Facebook account, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and tap the bell icon para ma-notify kayo sa mga future unboxing video ko. So once again, this is Wax from Wax Attack channel. Stay home, stay safe, have a great day guys. Bye guys!